welcome. If you're new here, I am Christine. I'm owner and content creator of bloomingbrilliant.net, where I share educational resources, parenting advice, and of course, information about homeschooling. I'm a homeschool mom of two. I homeschool my 12-year-old daughter and my eight-year-old son right here in Brooklyn, New York, and I love to share our homeschooling journey with you. Today, I'm super excited to be chatting with you about homeschooling and how we are teaching coding in our homeschool. So if you don't know what coding is, it is basically um, the language our computers speak. So that's all the things that are run by computers take coding. So it's a really important thing that our children start learning because as we know, it is the wave of the future. We There are going to be more and more careers that are dedicated to coding or that have some kind of coding aspect. But it goes much further than that. There are so many benefits that learning coding can provide besides those benefits of future job security or future job opportunities. One of those things that are beneficial that are not necessarily related to, you know, a job in technology is creativity is one thing, but then you have critical and logical thinking, you have um, problem solving, you have planning and strategizing, all these um, things are part of coding that you might not have realized. You know, perseverance and you gain confidence once you create a code and it actually works out. So there is a ton of benefits that come with learning how to code and learning how to read code and deal with code and manipulate co code um, that you might not have realized when just hearing about code. Okay, so now that we discussed some of the benefits of learning how to code or learning about coding, um, has for our children. How do we teach coding? Recently in our homeschool, we have been using Coda Kid and we have been using it with my son in particular. Even my daughter has been using it. She has been f more focused on a higher level than my son AJ. He's been learning the very basics using Block Code with Scratch, which is a another website, but they work hand in hand with Coda Kid and you don't have to pay for it. It's completely free. But Coda Kid gives you the courses and the step-by-step -step tutorials on how to create things. So there's many different languages that you can use for coding. There's like JavaScript and Python, and then there's the block coding like Scratch. There's HTML and CSS and a few others that I'm not really familiar with, but Coda Kid is. And they teach all of these to your children when you sign up you can choose what course is um, the right one for your child and then they can learn. So for like my son, he's learning the basics. My daughter, she is using it to practice web design with CSS, which code and code a kid is pretty cool, especially if your kid is interested in Minecraft, Roblox, or anything like that, because they actually have special Minecraft Courses where you can make mods and Roblox, which we don't use, but definitely Minecraft is a thing in our house. But that you can create these things for all through coding, which is pretty cool. So if your kid is interested in any of that, make sure to check it out as well, because that is two huge, huge things. We are in a generation that truly loves video games, whether that is on the PC, on, you know, um, gaming consoles, whatever. And even if they are not act actively playing, they like watching others play with um, YouTube and Twitch. So Coda Kid is designed very much like YouTube in the sense that the style of videos have a instructor who talks you through step by step the projects. And but he's like right there in the corner, just like um, their favorite YouTube gamer and they're talking with high energy and they are you know joking around about you know certain things like adding to like pictures and stuff and and t but they're learning things so they're learning like the one thing that my son when he started um 
uh, with Codekid, he learned the difference between a vector and a bitmap. So that's just like one, that's like the first lesson when you get into like scratch coding or block coding um, with Codekid. They sit and they explain that. And if you just have scratch on itself, they're not going to explain the differences of that. That's just going to say, here's a platform um, that you can make things with. But it's not necessarily, they don't give you like the tutorials to build anything. So it works really well together. Um, and that, again, Scratch you is free. Coda Kid just uses it in order to get your kid having a place to create. So Coda Kid offers self-paced and private lessons. We're currently using self-paced lessons for both children. We don't have to be at a certain place at a certain time versus like a private lesson. And they have private lessons. So if you need that extra accountability, extra support, you have that option as well. So they do have one-on-one -on -one private lessons, which is really great too, because a lot of kids do need that extra accountability and like one-on-one -on -one help sometimes, especially if you're just beginning. But my son has me and I like the freedom um, of doing the lesson whenever I want versus having to meet at a certain time. Um, the age group for Coda Kid, if you're wondering, is about seven years old and up. If your child is younger than seven years old, they still may be able to do like block coding depending on how well they are using a computer and with, of course, parent supervision. But if you ask me, um, if you have a child and they are have access to the internet, they always need some parental supervision or adult supervision because the internet is a dangerous place. So make sure, regardless of your child's age, they have some adult supervision. So you may be wondering what you actually need if you decide to sign up with, for Coda Kid and what kind of stuff are you gonna need? Like what other purchases are you gonna have to make? So if you have a computer or a laptop, that should suffice and you need an internet connection. That is important. Other than that, you're pretty good. You don't need it anymore. Um, they, you may find it beneficial to have an extra monitor, but it is not needed. We don't. We use a laptop and they split the screen and they work like that. I was saying Coda Kid teaches through videos and I already discussed the videos are very much like YouTube and Twitch in the sense that they're very engaging and your kids are just gonna love it because of the personalities of the um, teachers. And they also have, they go step by step so you don't have to worry about, you know, if they're gonna miss anything. And the other thing that I love about the self-paced course is that your child can pause, well, it's recommended that they pause in order to work on the projects, but they can pause, they can stop it, they can go do something, they could come back, they can restart it, they can, do it as much as they want in order to understand it. And that's a huge thing for me because sometimes things get confusing and you just have to like start over and having access to the videos and being able to start over when you need to or to go revisit something when you, you know, if you've gone ahead is really beneficial. Um, you can teach multiple kids with Coda Kid. They actually do a discount. So if you have more than one child and you want to subscribe to Coda Kid for a coding for coding lessons, you can actually get it cheaper than if you had two individual subscriptions. So getting the family option will give you access for three students. And I think you'll know right away if your kids love learning how to code and love Coda Kid because you, they'll tell you, they'll let you know, and they won't hate doing it. They won't be like, oh, it's Coda Kit time. No, they will be excited for it. Coding is a fun, fun activity and class to do. And it's something, like I said, that is going to, that is not going, that is already part of our everyday lives and definitely going to be a thing of the future or a necessity of the future because we're only moving more and more into technology, not farther away from it. So... It's a very important in that respects, but like I said, there are so many benefits to it and more information about Coda Kid. You can check the description box below. I have a full detailed post and you can always leave questions. I will try to answer them as 
best I can. Um, I don't work for Code Again, but I did receive this um, a year's subscription for my child, for my children to use and to share with you guys. I like trying um, curriculum because you never know what something is until you see it and share it. Like I like watching other homeschool parents talk about the curriculum they use because then it gives me insight that I wouldn't have just by reading a, you know, the company's website or, you know, they also offer a free trial before I forget. So if you or want to try it but don't want to um if you don't want to risk any financial commitment then you can try it out for 14 days for the self-paced course or for two sessions of the one-on-one -on -one private tutoring course so it's definitely worth it to try out to see if it's a good fit for your child um like i said it has so many benefits learning how to code but anyway i'm gonna go i hope you guys found this um, interesting let me know in the comments if you are new here and you haven't subscribed please subscribe if you like this video give us a thumbs up and don't forget to share with your fellow homeschoolers have a great day and happy homeschooling see you soon yes. bye